Hey guys, it's me Ram here and as you all know, recently the Rubik's Cube North American Championships were conducted in Canada. At this competition, we saw some insane records such as Zane Kanani's Cube World Records and we also saw some crazy podiums such as the Pyramix Podium. However, unlike these other events, the 2x2 podium was honestly kind of underwhelming. Only 2.11 got 3rd place and a lot of the top 2x2ers kind of underperformed. When I first saw this podium, I was a little bit disappointed to be honest but after seeing these scrambles, I can totally see why 2.11 was barely 3rd place. So in today's video, I thought why not try out these bad 2x2 scrambles together and make a Let's Race episode out of it. Let's do this. Alright, so here's the first scramble at the top of the screen now. So I got a 2.12 on this first solve which is honestly pretty good considering how bad this scramble is and I want to quickly go over my solution. So what I saw on this scramble was this blue block right here and obviously this solve was one looked and I saw you could build a blue eg1 face in 5 moves here. So what I did to build this face was this, I solved it like this. I noticed my bar was on the right, I wanted it in the back so I rotated and I solved the eg1 like this and I had no EUF. So yeah, not a great solution at all, but it was the best I could find in 15 seconds. Let's move on to the next solve. Alright, so here's scramble 2 at the top of the screen now. So I got a 2.08 on the scramble and what I saw here is you can build a 4 move white EG2 face into a not so bad EG2. So what I did here was U, L2 and solve the white face like this and then a U prime and then I did the EG2 basically the anti CLL and I finished with a U AUF. So yeah overall not a really bad solution but I had kind of lucky turning there so yeah let's move on to solve 3. Alright so here's scramble 3 at the top of the screen now. So what I saw on this scramble was this 3 move green EG1 face which would give me my bar on the left but I don't know LEG so I know I would have to rotate. So what I did to solve this was this. I one looked this solve and I saw it would give me this EG1 so I rotated, solved the EG1 like this and finished with a U prime AUF. So yeah overall not too bad of a solution and I got a pretty good time for the solve. Let's move on to solve 4. Alright so here's scramble 4 at the top of the screen now. Alright, so what I just saw on this soul was this pretty easy 2 move blue EG1 face and I saw that would give me a pretty good anti CLL so I just went ahead with it. So what I did was this, I cancelled into the anti CLL, finished with R2 F2 R2 with a U2 AUF. So yeah, overall not a bad solution but I kinda safety the soul so I could get my best time on the solve and I did, I got a 1.81. Let's move on to the last solve. Alright, so here's the last scramble at the top of the screen now. Alright, so on this last solve here, I saw a pretty good blue 4 move EG1 face which would give me a pretty good EG1. However, the bar would be in the front so I decided to execute it from the back from here. So what I did was F R prime U R to insert the piece into the back and I cancelled into this EG1 algorithm that I knew. This was an alternate alg because I use a different alg usually. This gave me a time of 1.89 seconds which gave me an average of 5 of 1.95. Now this average of 5 would give me 3rd place so let's just go ahead and quickly fix that. There we go, that looks much better. Nah, I'm just kidding obviously because I didn't really factor in the nerves those people were facing so honestly I think I would have done much worse than 1.95 if I were at the competition. So yep, I guess that's pretty much it for me trying out potentially the worst 2x2 scramble set ever from North America American Championship 2022 final. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what times you get on these scrambles. Goodbye.